Hey y'all, how we all doing? Today we're going to take a look at how to take apart one of these two-stroke carburetors and common problems they have. And basically I'm just going to show you how to take it apart, where all the parts go. That way you'll have like a reference, or now I'll have a reference where all the parts go when you take one apart. So basically, let's get started. So basically this is the uh, choke lever. I think this came off a weed eater, something like that. And it has just the uh, regular throttle, no uh, extra extra linkage for uh, holding the throttle open. So this is usually on a string trimmer like this. So these are the uh, Justin screws. So before we take them out, we're going to uh, screw them in to see how far out they are. So let's start with the uh, the top here. First, we're going to take that off. Two screws for that. One there. There's two. Now this is our this uh this diaphragm if it looks good just leave it alone we're gonna uh you don't want to mess that up if it's good it looks good it's not like uh wrinkly or anything like that it looks really good so we're gonna leave it alone this is the uh primer bulb that looks good so we're gonna leave that alone so basically it's primer bulb No gasket for the primer bulb. Just pop that on there. And then there's a uh, a gasket and a diaphragm here. So first the gasket goes on, then the diaphragm. This plastic being the diaphragm. Okay. So if you have a rebuild kit, you'll be replacing these. So now one of the most common problems with this uh, type of carburetor is if you look down in this hole here there's a screen. Well I've seen that screen get really clogged up and the only way to clean it is to take it out and to do that you use a little pick. I have a little pick here but I don't know if it's going to work. If not I'll go get my other one. Here, we're just going to grab a corner of the screen here and try to pull it up. If that don't work, uh, looks like I bent my tip. I got to get a pointier pick out. I should already had it out. Sorry about that. We set here. So I could probably get it out with this with this bent one here. Just get get your uh, pick in there. Try to grab a corner of the screen and pull it up. Now that little screen, this will come in the rebuild kit if you if you've got one. If not, this is what you want to clean first. Try to take it out to clean it. That's the best way because you want to flush it back that way and don't lose it yeah and when you're cleaning it you're gonna once you get that screen out you're gonna blow it blow through this hole here blow through this hole here blow through this hole here with your carburetor cleaner and any holes that you see a little tiny orifice in make sure they're all clear okay that's that's this side now we go to the other side Got four screws holding the back on. Let's get them off. Now you want to take a note before you start taking this apart. You can see this hanging off here. We got looks like we have another diaphragm and another gasket. So diaphragm top, gasket on the bottom.
Okay, now carefully take this piece off. And this is your uh, pump diaphragm. Now if that feels like this, it's good. There's no holes in it, it's not wrinkly. And you can feel the, uh, the valve going up and down. That means it's working. That's like the little float valve that lets the gas in. So if it, every time it pumps, it lets a little gas in. So if that's good, that's probably not your problem. But So be careful getting it off. You shouldn't have to replace it. So right now we're going to get it off. Let me get my little pick here. Be careful. Don't mess it up. Get, get the corner up. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, so that's first thing off. So that's how it goes. Facing down. Then the gasket is here. It only has one way to go. So make sure it goes that way. See, there's an extra hole here. It goes with that hole. Make sure it's that way. Okay, so we can do this. That's how it goes. Now this is the uh, float I was talking about. There's a special way for each carburetor to adjust that. And it usually involves bending this tab. And usually it's, uh, it's supposed to be like level with the top of this, but this one looks like it's a little different. So they might have a special tool for this one. But anyway, if you're if it's pumping like that, and it's it should be working. I think this should be touching the uh, the bottom of the uh, valve. Anyway, so like I said, there's a special way to adjust it. Read your instructions. If you don't have your instructions, most of the time it's like you put a straight edge across the top here, and just make sure it's level and touching it's straight, touching the straight edge. Okay. Now in the meantime, we're going to blow out all these holes with carburetor cleaner, all the little holes. Make sure everything's clean. And we're going to uh, check these uh, needle valves, see how far out they are. Then we're going to put it all back together. Get my little kit here. Wrong kit. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Yes, indeed. Alright, looks like we need a, uh, looks like we need the Pac Man bit. See those, uh, two screws there? They look like, like Pac Man. You can see it. So let's get the Pac-Man bit out. Where is it? Pac-Man, there it is. Let's see if this one fits. There's a smaller Pac-Man too. Ah yes, it fits. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is, we don't want to screw these out yet, we want to screw them in. Now take note of where one side of the screwdriver is and then start screwing it in. So this is the one on the bottom. One. Almost two. So let's see, let's take that out. So it's gonna be like one and three quarters turns for this one out. So we can take that all the way out. We're going to clean it real good. Don't damage it. Don't mess with it. Squirt some carburetor cleaner in this hole. Then we're going to go get the other one off. Same thing, we're going to screw it in so we can see where we're at. So you see where my Pac-Man says here? We'll start from there. One. 
two. Almost two. Don't force it in. Don't. That's it. Okay, you don't want to mess anything up. It's only aluminum. And you will mess it up. So now we know it's one and three quarters around. So now we can take it out. And we can clean it. Okay, once it's out, be very careful. Don't mess it up. You see it's a little bit different. Not much, but there is a difference. So don't screw it up. Now quickly clean these holes out with your carburetor cleaner. And let's put the first one back in. That's how we're going to start re re reassembling now. So we're going to put this screw in. All the way, but don't over tighten it. And you'll feel it when it gets there. That's it right there. See where we're at? So now we're going to go out one and three quarters. So this is one, one, and that would be two, so we're going to go back in a little. That's one and three quarters. Same on this one. Now these are only initial adjustments. Of course you'll have to adjust it after you put it back together. Maybe a quarter turn out, a quarter turn in. But you'll get the feel for it. So now we're going to screw this all the way back in. Screw it all the way back in. Don't over tighten it, like I said, now we just hit it right there. So now we take note where Pac-Man's on this side now, so let's go out one and three quarters turns. So let's go one, two, so let's go back a quarter. And that's one to three quarters. Like I said, every carburetor is adjusted differently. Every tool is different, depending on the motor and all that. If it needs more gas, more air. So everyone's different. So do that before you take those screws out. And that will be your initial adjustment. Then you can adjust it from there. So now, we're going to start putting her back together. We're going to do absolutely the reverse of what we just did to take it apart. First, we're going to put our gasket goes like that. Now we're going to get our diaphragm. That's our pump diaphragm. This is the pump side, I think. And we're going to put this on. And remember, this is after cleaning everything up. Let's get the screw started if we can. Let me see if I can get it started with my thing. Let's get him started. Don't over tighten them. See how I'm holding it loosely? So I don't over tighten it. Alternately, you could lower your clutch on your tool like this. Maybe about a four. Let's see what it does. That's good. Four is good. Then we could just check it with a regular screwdriver to make sure we didn't keep leave it loose. That yeah, feels good. Feels good, nice and even. Yep. Let's check the last one for the hell of it. All right. Okay, so now we're off to the other side. 
we're going to put our little screen back in. And you don't want to poke any holes in that screen. So use your uh, Pac-Man to push it in. Okay. Right back in, nice and nice and even. And then we got to put our this these sit on the on the pins here. This this uh, diaphragm and this gasket. So there's only one way it could go. It, could, it goes on these pins. And then the uh, little flaps will line up with the respective holes. So that should be an easy one. So now this goes back on carefully. Might have to move this throttle out of the way a little bit. Then we just put the screw back on. Hit it. Make sure it's tight with the regular screwdriver. Yep, looking good. Okay, and that's how you take apart and rebuild one of these carburetors. Main thing is replacing those diaphragms and gaskets in the right order, as I showed you how they are, and making sure you blow carburetor cleaner through any orifice you can find. Every carburetor is a little bit different, so some have different orifices, but they have the main the main things are almost all the same. It's all basic. Now if you if you happen to have this spring messed up, you can see eclipse here and it goes onto the inside here. See that? In case you have to replace that spring for some reason. You shouldn't have to, but I have seen some break like that. So usually if you're not going to be able to get a spring, you'll have to replace the whole carburetor. So, unless you have another carburetor laying around. Okay? And if you're, uh, anything sticking, like if this is sticking, you might have to take it apart. So you can take that clip out and, it would, and take the screw out and it would slide right out. But then you'd have to deal with that spring, which is pretty tight. But it's not impossible. It's an easy one. Anyway, thanks for watching. This video went a lot longer than I thought it would. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.